This video is for those of you that uh, are doing Instagram automated outreach and your outreach tools or scraping tools are not working at the moment because this is happening for some people. And that's why I decided to make my own automation to do this for you and uh, so that you can uh, continue doing your outreach game as you always wanted. Okay, so the first thing will be the scraping on Instagram because I know many of you have found uh, no success with uh, scraping with uh, some of those tools like uh, IG Gromand and uh, others. So uh, in order to fix this, all we're gonna need is this automation called Instant Data Scraper. It's completely for free and I guarantee you, you will love it once you install it. Okay, so you just install it here and uh, now we're gonna get uh, cooking on Instagram. So on Instagram, the method that I'm gonna be using right now is uh, that I'm gonna be scrapping comments, okay? But you can do this even for followers, but right now I'm just gonna show you a method that uh, does it for comments. So, for example, like the main advantage of scraping from comments is that you're gonna get way more active people and those people are most likely gonna be more relevant than just followers. So, for example, if you wanna be scraping a big account like Hermosi, you don't really wanna be scraping from the followers since that would take ages and uh, you can't see his followers anyways on Instagram, so. Uh, the only thing left for you is to do uh, scrape comments, right? He has like 1000 comments or 3000 comments on some of his bigger posts. Now, how do we do that? So uh, here's the trick right now, okay? So we need to open the uh, comment, then copy the URL, uh, delete it, and then paste it once again. And what will happen is that we are gonna get here into this page. And this is where we actually can start scrolling the comment, comments and uh, this is gonna help us tremendously to uh, get the leads from these uh, posts, okay? You can then uh, also uh, find another post from that person and uh, it's gonna be easy, trust me. Okay, so this is all, you, all we need right now and in order to make this work, we just click on the extension and uh, we need to just uh, create the tables, right? So for, for uh, most of you, what will happen here, it will open up like plenty of tables that uh, you can scrape, but for our purposes, we just need the username, okay? So we are just gonna scrape the username. The way you can uh, adjust this is by just clicking on uh, the X button here, if you have rows that you don't want. Okay, so in our case, we just want the usernames. And uh, for some of you, like if it's not locating this uh, immediately, you just click on try another table, okay? And it will find that table for you. In our case, we found a table and what we will just click here is the infinite scroll and now we just start crawling. Okay, and uh, here is what it does. So it starts scrolling and then getting those uh, usernames that we wanted. It even added like a reply button here that we don't really want. So we are just going to cancel that out. But as you can see here, it's collecting rows. So uh, we should be good to go. So right now we have 100 leads. Right now, 130 leads, right? It's pretty quick, man. And uh, it's super easy to use. Uh, you don't need like anything. You don't need to pay for anything. And you are getting uh, like real powerful, like really quality leads from this. So once you have enough, now we are gonna move into a different one. So like what you can even do is here, just click stop, stop scrolling, crawling, and now click on a different post, pull it up, pull it up one more time and now you can just click yeah it should yeah exactly it should start working even like that so well, it's super easy to use and uh, that is it for this so now we got the leads all we have to do right now is we just click here on copy all and uh, now we are gonna move into the next steps Okay, so what I did right now is that I open up a Google Sheets and now I'm just gonna paste these usernames into the A column, okay? Paste it like this. And uh, for the next step is actually gonna be contacting those people with your specific message and personalize even the first name, okay? And to do that, all we gotta do is install an extension called XMAI. It's uh, browser automation and uh, it enables you to actually program your own automation. So uh, I actually did this to myself. So you're gonna see uh, my code. Okay, it's no code too. So you don't have to have any knowledge of code, which I don't, uh, I don't have. And what you are gonna do there is open it up. You actually get uh, 
like a free account where which you can basically use for any of the outreach i've been using the free account for like months and months without paying any dollar so like this strategy is completely for free okay and uh, the way we navigate here is just we click here on new automation import automation and i'm actually gonna share the uh, automation with you down below in the description so you're probably gonna see like a drive link with the automation file and also maybe some documentation because uh, i might be upgrading this automation a little bit in the future just to uh, make it even better but right now uh, we just click here on import the automation select file and now we will uh, find it in our downloads okay right now we just click uh, confirm and we got it okay this is the automation uh, don't get overwhelmed it's pretty easy so i'm just gonna navigate you through the steps so that you understand what we are talking about here and then uh, let you implement it so that uh, you can finally start reaching out to people consistently now uh this is uh, this is it so for the first step we just go to the instagram direct inbox okay so uh, we just go here to the dms nothing fancy here the second step is we actually need to read data from google sheet so you have this google sheet here right it doesn't matter how you named it but uh, you just need to connect to your google account here it will probably gonna ask you to connect to your google account you just connect it and then you select the spreadsheet that you are using so for my case it's called instagram axiom instagram and then you also need to select the right sheet that you pasted this in for me it's going to be comments and you leave this as it is now what uh, you also want to do is uh, continue here do the same thing for the uh, delete rows from the google sheet you will do this uh, i think three times it is yeah also here the same thing okay it might uh, take a little bit of time to load up oh nice so once you do that you uh, also need to do it down here but uh, this is it okay just uh, for those four cases and here is where you are going to insert a script but let me just quickly show you how this automation works right so it uh, reads the data it reads the first line from data sheet and then it goes on instagram clicks here on the button searches the username right searches the username clicks on it and then clicks chat here and then here it inserts the uh, message it also takes the full name and splits it in the first name but these are just uh, details you don't have to understand any of this i just wanted to explain to you how it will be working now so this is the uh, technicality thing so you don't really have to understand that to use that everything is uh, fixed for you all you have to do right now is just insert a script here okay so for example for my case hi and here is the personalization you need to click on insert data here and click here into the split name data okay once you click on that you click on clear all and column a okay that's all and as you can see here you need to check for the spaces between okay i do that with uh, arrows okay so once we have that uh, how how is it going that's uh, our like example <laughs> script and uh, that's all we need basically like uh, right now we just click save and uh, everything will happen so but the last thing would be that is that you should install a desktop application on instagram i mean on axiom so that it is more safer it is running from your computer and uh, you basically don't risk any uh, problems with uh, the VPN and all these things because if you're running it in the cloud, it's running in their ser on their server. And that means that other users can be running it at the same time, and it's kind of risky to do. But on the other hand, uh, it's good that you don't have to have the browser open during that time. But if you're using a free version, it means that you only have about 30 minutes of runtime, so it can only run for 30 minutes at a time. That's the only disadvantage here that you have on the free uh, free version now in order to do that you just like download the uh, desktop app and uh, then we click here 
on the run and it will uh, basically take over one of our Chrome browsers. You will see how uh, this works. So now it uh, just turns off the notification pop up, goes straight into a new message and searches for the username, right? Finds the username, clicks on it, clicks on chat. And then once it does that, it also personalizes the first name, which it takes well, right now. It also, one thing is that it will check uh, whether or not you have actually messaged this person before. So this is also a cool thing, is that you will not message anyone who you have not messaged before. And it just sends out the message and now it's waiting for the timer, right? So if you have been uh, using Instagram for DMs or like automating DMs, you know that uh, you need to wait before sending out more messages just for the reason that you don't want to get yourself suspended, okay? So that's why uh, what I did here is at the end of it, I just set like random time delay between messages. So it's from 200 seconds to 400 seconds, right? So it's about like four to six minutes, four to six, seven minutes, okay? You can change this. Uh, just remember it's in milliseconds, okay? So one second is 1000 milliseconds, okay? And here is the amount of messages you want to send out. This is like the maximum. So I've just get, uh, put here 50. That should be like the you know, standard for uh, many of you. But if you are warming up the accounts, you shouldn't uh, use automation, but uh, yeah, you can like uh, up it up to 60, 70. But in your case, if you are using it just the free version, what will happen is that uh, you will be, it will like stop the run after the minute. So you have to reset it once again, okay? But uh, that isn't really that much of a problem. Now, for those of you, that, for example, want to message people that they have uh, messaged before, all you have to do here is uh, just click here on this one and you just click uh, disable step and then uh, it will it will work okay so uh, this will be it for the automation i will be shooting a lot of videos in the future on the axiom uh, browser no code automation tool because it is a really good one you can automate almost anything i highly recommend you try it out and uh, play with it and see uh, how good we are with it and uh, you can automate your own things and if you are never if you are not sure or if something isn't working you can always hit me up on uh, instagram or on twitter or even here on youtube okay so uh, that will be it i hope this uh, helped someone and if it helped you then please leave me a like and comment with some feedback on uh, maybe if you have any problems that i can help you with and uh, have a fantastic uh, fantastic day see ya